welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a fall-ish makeup tutorial. I don't really know if it's a fall-ish makeup tutorial, but it's darker lip, so that's what I'm calling it. Um, but I do have a couple of things that I wanted to update you guys on, so before I get into the tutorial, I'm gonna do that. The first thing is that I have been doing daycare for the last couple of months and I absolutely love it. It's only part time, I just have a couple girls that come to my home. Melody enjoys getting some friends and I enjoy the flexibility of being able to stay home with my daughter. Um, the other thing that I'm more excited to tell you guys is I am pregnant and Melody is going to be a big sister. We are expecting baby number two in February which puts me at about 18 weeks along and we find out the gender next week and I could not be more excited. Melody was a surprise all the way till the end. We did not know what we were having, but with this one, we just decided to find out and we are very excited and yeah, I think that's it. Now the last thing is, I want to do a giveaway. So you may have noticed that I reached a thousand subscribers, which has always been an incredible goal for me to achieve here on YouTube. And the fact that I've made it, I think largely in part to a lot of new subscribers that I gained after I did my balayage tutorial. Thank you so much for subscribing if that is why you're here or if you've been here since the beginning, I really, really appreciate it. And as a thank you, I really want to do a give, give away. I've never done one before, and I'm just trying to, I didn't realize there were so many YouTube rules involved with doing a giveaway, so I would still like to do one, and that's probably what my next video will be, as long as I can figure out a good way to do it. Um, but if I don't do it on YouTube, I would maybe do it on Instagram or something else. I will leave my link for my Instagram down below, so keep a lookout there in case I have a hard time figuring out how to do it on YouTube without getting in trouble. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. So without further ado, let's get into the makeup tutorial. All right, I am going to pin my hair back so they don't get foundation in it. That's not cute. I'm gonna start by priming my face and to do that, I'm using the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm for sensitive skin. Um, I like this mainly just for helping my foundation to last longer. <laughs> And I really like the way it smells. It has a very subtle uh, masculine scent, but I really like it and it goes away as it works into the skin. So I just like to work it in until it feels a little bit tacky, maybe like a little bit sticky, and then I just let it be. And then I'm gonna move on to foundation. And I can't really get away from these, so I'm gonna continue to use the Hard Candy Glamifage Foundation. And I'm gonna be mixing fair and light, focusing mainly on the fair, um, like on the lower half of my face and on the center of my face, and using light towards the perimeter of my face because that's kind of what naturally my face does. I'm just gonna drag whatever is left kind of down my neck a little bit to blend it. Now for concealer, I'm gonna do a combination of the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and Corrector in light and my Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer in light beige. The coverage I think is a little bit better on the Mary Kay, but it's not quite light enough to get the nice highlighted effect that I'm looking for, so. I just add a little bit of the better skin. Once my concealer is blended out, I'm gonna set that, and to do that, I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and a elf and an elf small tapered brush. I have quite a bit of powder there in the cap, or not the cap, but in in the container, and I'm just gonna dip my brush in there, pick up a heavy amount of powder, and dab it right underneath my eyes. So while I have that on the brush, I'm just gonna dab out, because I tend to get a lot of creasing under my eyes, so I'm just gonna dab out any, ex any bit of creasing right before I apply the powder. I'm also gonna put a little bit of that like on my chin, my nose, basically where I put the concealer. My goodness, it's all over my shirt now. Can you see that? Oh well, I'll just dust it off. <laughs> I usually do this over my sink downstairs, but whatever, that's fine. It's just translucent powder, it'll come off. And while I let that sit and look crazy, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. And for that, I'm gonna be using the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade, and I have it in the shade Brunette. And I'm gonna be using just a small angled brush. I got this one in a set from Forever 21, and I think it works great. I'm gonna set my eyebrows using my Mary Kay Brow Gel. I love this stuff, and it's pretty inexpensive. And I think it works great. And then I'm just going to brush away the baking underneath my eyes. 
and so I'm going to use a fluffier brush to do that. This is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. I got this in an Ipsy bag, and I'm just going to dab it into my NYX HD Powder in Banana, just lightly, and brush that away. I feel like that helps blend it out as I'm removing it. I don't always do this, but I do feel like it helps a little bit. Okay, I am going to set the rest of my face using my... L'Oreal True Match Powder. I believe this is in W2. I will leave that in the description below, but um, I just depotted it and put it in my Baby Z palette so that it would be easier for travel. And I'm using an e.l.f. complexion brush to set that all over my face. So now I'm gonna move on to my eyeshadow. And for that, I am gonna be using my Carly Bible palette, her collaboration that she did with BH Cosmetics. I absolutely love this palette. I think I'm gonna do like a slightly smokier look. And to start with that, I'm gonna be using this shade here as a transition. I'm gonna work that high in, up to my brow bone. I have a lot of lid space, so I feel like this helps to bring some balance back in. Once I get the transition color laid down, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go in with this, this dark cranberry color in the corner. And I'm just gonna take it on the tip of this brush. By the way, this is a Lab Square Just Blending In Brush. I'm pretty sure I got this from Walmart on the recommendation of Casey Holmes and it's pretty inexpensive, but yeah, I really like it for blending. So I'm gonna do basically the same thing with this one, but I'm gonna be a little bit more precise, focusing it more low in the crease and on the outer portion of my eye. Now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. crease brush. Looks very similar, but this one has a slightly finer tip. And I'm gonna go in with the darkest color, which is this one here. And I'm gonna focus that right in the outer B of my eye. You can see I'm getting some fallout here, but I'm not worried about it because I can just brush it away. Since I set my under eyes with plenty of powder, it won't be a big deal just to brush that away. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with, or I'm gonna take the same color, but now I'm gonna drag it all the way to my inner corner right in the crease, just for a little bit more of added definition. The last thing I'm gonna do is just take a flat brush. I don't even think there's a name on this. I got this in a Morphe kit a couple years ago, I think. And I'm gonna take this um, highlight shade here, just like a bronzy copper color. I'm gonna put that right on my lid. I think I might just take a little bit of the lightest shade and put it right towards the inner corner. So now I'm gonna go back to that fluffy brush with my HD powder, pick up a little bit of that again and just brush away any of that fallout that I might have gotten. I'm gonna take my liquid liner. I'm still using the Jordana Cat Liner, Cat Eye Liner in black. It's starting to rub away. <laughs> but I just really like it. I think it lasts really well. It's super cheap. I think you can get this at Kmart or um, Walgreens sells it, and a couple other places I think too, but I just really, really like this eyeliner. Mascara today, I'm gonna use my Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. I talked about this in my most recent video, which I realized was a while ago, but I still really, really like this mascara. So I'm just gonna curl it using my Tarte Eyelash Curler. I'm gonna apply a couple of coats, because again, I'm not gonna wear false lashes not into that on an everyday basis. So it's designed to use the flat side of the brush to kind of load on product onto your, brow, your eyelashes and then it has a skinnier side which you can use to kind of comb out that product so you don't have clumps and to add a little bit of length. For the lower lashes I am going to take my Sephora Black Waterproof Crayon Contour Eye Pencil 24 Hour Wear. I don't think this is 24 Hour Wear but it is a good eyeliner. I'm gonna focus that close to my lash line and a little bit in my waterline. I'm gonna go back to the brush that I used to lay down the dark color. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the transition color I used and blend that. I am sorry, my camera shut off and I did not realize that it did. All I did was add a little bit of mascara after I smudged out my lower lash line. Otherwise, now we're back at it. So I'm just gonna go back to my Carly Bible palette and take the lightest highlighting shade and put a little bit of a inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight with that. And now I'm gonna go back to my face and I got this Pacifica Sun Kissed Bronzer in an Ipsy bag. It seems a little bit warm for contouring and it's incredibly pigmented and dark, but I'm just gonna try a little bit and see if it works. Oh 
yeah, I think I get away with that. So I'm gonna use it more precisely with my Eda brush, my knockoff Eda brush. Um, and then I'm gonna take my big fluffier brush and use it more as a bronzer. And then take it just a little bit on my lower jawline, upper neck area. For blush today, I'm gonna be using an e.l.f. blush that I've had for a while in Berry Mary. Berry Mary. This is pretty dark and incredibly pigmented, so I'm gonna be using a large dual fiber brush, stickle brush, also from e.l.f. And just tap in there, and I'm actually gonna tap with a little bit of excess because this blush does not take a lot of effort to apply. It's so pretty, and it has just a hint of shimmer, but not a lot. Take a little bit of the bronzer and just blend that in with it. For a highlight, I'm going back to the Carly Bible palette, of course, and I'm gonna take the highlight shade, the lightest one, with my e.l.f. My e.l.f., my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm gonna go down my nose a little bit. And my Cupid's bow. And then go back to the stubble brush and blend it all together. For lips, I think I'm gonna be using this new one that I also got from my Ipsy bag. This is the Pixie by Petra in the color Rose. It's just a mini lipstick, but I wanted to try it because I think it will be really pretty for fall. And then for lining my lips, I'm gonna be using my Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this update fall makeup tutorial combination video. I really missed you guys, and I'm excited to see you in my next video. Keep an eye out for the giveaway. I'm hoping to be able to do that soon. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.